Okay, boss, where are we heading this fine Christmas Eve? Oh, these holiday assignments are always so exciting. I hope it involves singing. I just love the singing assignments. Okay, okay, just let me get this thing open here. Oh, wow, wow. Wow, what do you mean, wow? What is it? Singing, is there singing? Oh, there's singing, all right, but there's a whole lot more, too. Well, tell us, don't keep us in suspense. Okay, so you remember that whole no room thing from way back? It's a little like that, but without the baby and the animals and the shepherds. I am so confused. Me too, but as long as I can sing, I'm fine. So where are we going? We're going to Hotel Noel. Okay, everybody, I think we got everything. Hop in, we'll be on our way. Yay, Christmas at Grandma's house. My favorite road trip of the whole year. Goodness, these roads are getting pretty slick. Do you think we should pull over? Maybe so. Can you check the GPS and see it is to the nearest hotel? Sure. Those snowflakes are huge. All this snow makes it feel even more like Christmas. Well, all this snow also means we might not make it to Grandma's house tonight. What? No, Mom, that is not an option. Yeah, we just has to get to Grandma's tonight. It won't be Christmas if we aren't there when we wake up in the morning. Oh, it'll be Christmas, all right, but it might not be the Christmas you're expecting. Any soon the hotel soon, Carol? No, not for quite a while. Great. Wait, do you see that sign? I see it. It says Hotel Noel. Oh, I really don't want to stay at a hotel. 
on Christmas Eve. I don't think we have a choice, kids. It just isn't safe to keep it going. Plus, it'd be perfect that we find a place called Hotel Noel, don't you think? It's strange, though. This doesn't show up on the GPS map. Oh, well, it's here. And thank goodness. Merry Christmas and welcome to Hotel Noel. Boy, we are glad we came upon your hotel. That storm was going pretty bad out there. We are so glad you're here. Hotel Noel is a pretty special place. We'll take good care of you. Hey, did you know this place doesn't show up on my GPS map? I couldn't find information about it anywhere. Oh, I know. We just kind of show up when you need us most. Huh? What? what? That's, That's weird. weird. That's kind of weird. Tell you what. Let me introduce you to our staff, and we'll get you settled into a room. This is Mike, our hotel manager. Hello. Gabe is our groundskeeper. Hello. And Gloria is in charge of housekeeping. Hello, and welcome to our very fine establishment. Thank you. I thank you. What a lovely voice you have. Hey, I have a question. With a name like Hotel Noel, don't you think this place would be all decked out for Christmas? I don't see a single decoration. Yeah, no lights, no Christmas trees, no presents. What's that all about? Well, you see, kids, here at Hotel Noel, we do. Christmas a little bit different. It might not look like it, but Christmas is a really big deal here. Boy, sure can't tell by the way it looks. Lucy, don't be rude. Oh, that's okay. We usually get that kind of reaction to our little hotel here. Tell you what, Gabe and Michael will take your suitcases to your room and I'll go fix you some hot cocoa. In the meantime, sit, just sit here and Angela will tell you all about Hotel Noel.
Well, that was fun. See, kids, it might not be so bad being here on Christmas Eve after all. No, no offense, Angela, but I still think you have a few things a lot of people know. It's Christmas time here. I mean, the name is Hotel Noel after all. Oh, no offense taken. And I agree about living up to our name, Hotel Noel. But do you know what the word Noel actually comes from? I guess about the one at Christmas. That is the traditional definition, Lucy, but the word that you know as Noel actually came from the French word Noel. And that word can be traced back to the Latin word natalis, which means birth. English, French, Latin. Hey, I'm on vacation from school. I don't want a vocabulary lesson. Young lady, you better watch your tongue or there won't be any presents for you under the tree tomorrow morning. Well, apparently, there won't be any way because there's no tree. No tree, no presents, no Christmas. Uh, I'm sorry. They're just sad they won't be waking up to a big Christmas celebration they were expecting. Who said no celebration on Christmas morning? Yeah, we celebrate around here, too, and we don't have anything against all of those Christmas decorations and traditions. We just really get excited about the Noel part of Christmas. That's right. We love everything about Christmas, but there's just one thing that really makes us sing. telling me that Christmas is really a birthday party? That's right. Like Gloria said, the word Noel comes from the word Natalis, which means birth. So on Christmas morning, we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Gloria, why don't you, t why don't you tell how it happened on the first Noel? Okay, this is from the Bible in Luke chapter 2. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. 
So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying, to, and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those whom his favor rests. That's my favorite part. Wow, we sure can get distracted by other things at Christmas time and forget that we're really supposed to be celebrating Jesus. And that's why we're here. Just to remind folks, that's what Christmas is all about. Jesus' birthday. Will that end the rest of the story? The rest of the story? Yes, the rest of the story. The whole, yes, the rest of the story. The whole reason Jesus came here, you see, God had to send Jesus here because we needed a savior. Our sins have separated us from God and the only way we could have a relationship with him again was for Jesus to come and save us. Mike, why don't you read some of those other verses? Okay, here we go. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fell short of the glory of God. And Romans 6.23 tells us, The wages of sin is death. But here's the good news. Romans 5.8 says, God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And John 3.16 says, For God who so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, and whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And Romans 10.9 says that if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Now that's what now that's what makes so, Christmas something to celebrate. Wow, kids, that really makes something so Christmas morning, Christmas Eve, so special. Yeah, isn't it, kids? Yeah, maybe we don't need all the decorations or presents. Where does the tree for Christmas morning be special? Yeah, maybe just remembering why Jesus came here is reason enough to celebrate. What makes a Christmas morning is joy that came to earth, celebrating Jesus. His long-awaited birth Knowing that He's the greatest gift God has given for me And trusting He's my Savior Is what makes a Christmas morning What makes a Christmas morning is joy that came to earth. Celebrating Jesus, His long awaited birth. Knowing that He's the greatest gift God has given for me. And trusting He's my Savior is what makes the Christmas morning 
Christmas morning is joy that came to earth celebrating Jesus his long-awaited birth knowing that he's the greatest gift God has given for me and trusting he's my Savior is what makes a Christmas morning Kids, it's late and we need to get to bed and hopefully the roads will be clear so we can be on our way. For now, we have a lot to think about. Thanks for reminding us what Christmas is really about, Angela. Of course. Your rooms are right through these doors. Number seven, here are your keys. Thank you Thank and good you. night. Good night. Well, team, how do you think it's going so far? Great. I think they're really getting it. Me too. I know those kids weren't expecting a Christmas like this, but hopefully they'll wake up in the morning and remember what we talked about tonight. I sure hope so. I guess we'll find out in the morning. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good morning, everybody, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, a Merry Christmas to you, too. How'd you sleep? I don't know about the rest of us, but I slept great. <sighs> Me, too. Best Christmas Eve sleep I've ever had. Really? Well, that's great to hear. And kids, how are you this Christmas morning? Great, but don't you mean the snow morning after all? That's what Christmas is really about, isn't it? It is, and you do seem very merry this morning. I am, because there's so much to be merry about. Yeah, I feel like I woke up merrier than usual this morning. I think that's because we really know what we're celebrating this morning.
As much as we like to continue this with you all, it looks like they cleared the roads and you can be on your way. That's great. I'll grab the suitcases from our room. I'll help. We can't thank you enough for your hospitality. This truly is a special place. Can we come back next year? Yeah, Mom. This was the best Christmas Eve ever. For ne uh, we'll see. For now, see your goodbyes. Our angels are getting dressed. I think I think our work is done here. Caroline, I wonder. I wonder where it'll be next Christmas Eve. I suppose. I suppose wherever so, someone needs a reminder of, of what Christmas is all about. Okay, team, let's go. We've got a birthday party to get to, and I hear it's going to be quite the celebration. Yay! You guys did it! <laughs>